Chicago's most infamous mob figures from the past seven decades is dead. John Nonos DeFranzo dying at the age of 89. He was the head of the outfit until Alzheimer's claimed him. I would News investigative reporter Chuck Howdy joining us tonight. Chuck has details. Kathy, John DeFranzo was a cool character, one of mobdom's central casting players right down to the toothpick. And DeFranzo was the original Teflon Don long before John Gotti in New York. Despite dozens of arrests during his 70-year criminal career, he never got nailed for gangland killings and managed to avoid long prison sentences. As the I-Team first reported last night, he even escaped the violent end of life that many of his contemporaries did not. How was the meeting? What meeting? Even into his 80s, John DeFranzo could think on his feet, denying that this meeting he had just left had even occurred, a weekly roundtable of mob bosses that the I-Team had under surveillance for a report entitled Lunch with No-Nos. DeFranzo's nickname was one of the outfit's most puzzling because through the years he appeared to have both nostrils. But this 1950 police photo seen here for the first time explains the mob moniker No-Nos. His proboscis mangled after a shootout a few months earlier during a Michigan Avenue burglary when he leapt through a plate glass window. DeFranzo, well liked by big bosses Sam Carlisi and Anthony Joe Batter Zaccardo, seen here with no nose in undercover FBI photos. I would say that um, John DeFranzo was no Tony Accardo. Now, of course, they're, they're working during different time periods. It's one thing to be leading an organization when it's you know, growing in it at its peak, and it's another thing to be leading an organization when it's clearly declining. Conspicuously, DeFranzo was not indicted in the 2005 Operation Family Secrets case. Mobologists figured he would be first charged in the sequel to Family Secrets, which never came. I think about Nick Calabrese saying that DeFranzo was there when they killed the Spalacho brothers. That's one thing I do remember. Are you concerned that, uh, no, that no, you may I'm end up in uh, Family no. Secrets too? No, I'm not concerned at all. All right. Nice talking to you. DeFranzo always claimed to be a car salesman. His outfit associates were more likely to call him Johnny Bananas than No-Nos, although on one famous FBI undercover tape, a mob lieutenant is seen putting his finger to his nose when referring to DeFranzo, so eavesdroppers apparently wouldn't hear the boss's name mentioned. Quite a character. Chapter closes. Yep. All right, Chuck, thanks. It happens just once a year, and this year, it's Venture's biggest birthday sale ever, with savings on Velcro joggers. There are styles and savings for the entire family, just $5.99 a pair. Enjoy savings on Fruit of the Loom men's cotton shirts and briefs, in packages of three, now $2.99 to $3.99. And save on Glidden spread satin wall paint. It's just $7.49 a gallon during Venture's birthday sale. Save at I team looks into who will run the Chicago mob now that John DeFranzo's died. This week's death of DeFranzo raising questions about not only secession, but about whether the outfit is still a criminal force. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joins us with this story. Chuck. Rob, the late John DeFranzo's nickname was No Nose after he lost part of his during a long ago burglary. His suspected heir apparent might be called No Mob because Sally DeLorenis has always contended there's no such thing as the outfit in Chicago, even though mob experts believe he now runs it. The I team has been on DeLorenis for decades, and he has always been a mob denier. Did you take a blood oath? Didn't take a, there's nobody sticking any needles in me either. That's from uh, movies. That's from The Godfather. 79-year-old De Laurentiis is the best-known unincarcerated Chicago outfit figure today and considered the new consigliere by mob watchers. This is obviously an organization that promotes from within. They don't take ads in the Wall Street Journal announcing a job search. The vacancy occurred when 89-year-old John No Nose DeFranzo died last Sunday. In a phone call today, De Laurentiis laughed off claims he is the new boss. He said the FBI should know because they follow him. Mob guys or outfit guys, whatever you want to call them, are resilient. The new FBI head in Chicago says organized crime here is still a potent force in labor racketeering and money laundering. Are they out there leaving people dead in the streets like the gangs who are getting the proper attention that they need because they are? No. But just because people aren't killing somebody doesn't mean that they don't represent a threat. 
De Laurentiis, arrested in 1990, served a long sentence for gambling racketeering, now says he's gone clean, literally, with a carpet steaming business in the north suburbs. And he always has contended he was little more than a gambler. It's an outfit of gamblers. Yeah, right, right. An outfit of guys that gamble. If there were any other kind of businessmen, it would be, a, you know, the Chamber of Commerce. He's old, too. Chicago attorney Joe Lopez has represented mobsters for years, says De Laurentiis isn't the new head of the outfit because the outfit is out of business. Well, I don't think anybody's ruling the roost. I think the roost is closed. In our interview 25 years ago, De Laurentiis said he didn't know that he was a mob boss until the FBI told him that he was. And in our phone call today, he said he has no idea who the boss of the Chicago outfit is. He just knows the boss isn't him. The Chamber of Commerce. Love the wine. Thanks, Josh.